Welcome back to my channel. Is UK's legal migration too high? What is the UK government's new immigration policy? What is Home Secretary, Cleverly's five-point plan to curb immigration? Who are the most affected by this policy? Let's find out. The government in the UK has shared some new rules to reduce the number of people coming to the country. The Home Secretary, James Cleverly, says these changes will start from next spring and are the biggest ever cut in net migration. Here are the important points. 1. Skilled Worker Visa Salary Increase Currently, if you want to work in the UK, your job offer needs to pay at least £26,200 per year or £10.75 per hour. Starting next spring, this amount will go up to £38,700 per year. But, health and care workers and people on national pay scales, like teachers, will not have to follow this new rule. This change might affect jobs like butchers or chefs where the pay is usually less than £30,000. 2. Family Visa Income Requirement Increase If you are a British citizen and want to bring a family member to live with you in the UK, the minimum income required is going up. It's increasing from £18,600 to £38,700 a year. This might affect groups who tend to earn less, such as women, younger people, and those living outside London and Southeast England. 3. Ban on care workers bringing family. Care workers from other countries can no longer bring their partner or children with them to the UK. This might worry care companies as it could make it harder to find new workers, causing staff shortages. 4. Salary discount for shortage jobs removed. Jobs on a list called, shortage occupation, could be paid 80% of the usual rate for a skilled worker visa. The government wants to stop immigration affecting British workers, so they are removing this discount. For example, programmers and software development professionals such as analyst programmer, database developer, games programmer, and software engineer whose going rate is £34,000 or £17.44 per hour. For them, previously, 80% of this going rate that is £27,200 is enough to be eligible for skilled worker visa, but now that discount has been removed. So, it has to be the full rate that is £34,000. 5. Healthcare surcharge increase. The fee that visa holders pay to use the NHS, National Health Service, is going up. It will rise from £624 to £1,035. Health and care workers, students, and under 18s have some exemptions or pay a reduced rate. 6. Review of graduate visa. A graduate visa allows someone to stay in the UK for at least two years after completing a course. The government is reviewing this visa to prevent misuse. Changes from January mean students can't bring family members unless on postgraduate research courses, and they can't switch to work visas before finishing their studies. Home Secretary James Cleverly's five-point plan to curb immigration in a nutshell. The government hopes these changes will lead to about 300,000 fewer people coming to the UK in the coming years. These new rules will start in the spring next year, 